New at 11. If you plan to sign up for an easy pass, it could cost you big bucks if you're not careful. A viewer wrote into 22 News saying she was charged crazy high fees because she didn't read the fine prints. I immediately thought that it was a mistake because I saw a late fee. Late fee after late fee after late fee, and it was not a mistake. Karen Paulus recently became an easy pass holder, which automatically pays your toll bill for you. But Karen said she found a flaw in the system. We found out that pay by play and easy pass do not coordinate with each other. When you receive an easy pass, it will not automatically pay prior toll charges, even if they're all in the same month. So if you don't make a separate payment, you'll get stuck with a $1 fee for every single toll that wasn't paid. The 22nd of February, um, 28 times that we had a late fee of a dollar. I told them that I thought it was ridiculously high. To put that $1 fee in perspective, there's four tolls between Westfield and Charlton. If you make that commute every day for work and miss your payment after 30 days, you'd have $160 in late fees, and that doubles after 60 days. Somebody who travels frequently on the Mass Turnpike and you go under gantry again after gantry after gantry a hundred times in a month, then your late fee could be a hundred dollars. Well, I called Mass DOT and they sent me a statement. What it basically said is they encourage everyone to check their statements and make their payments on time. So a warning for anyone who's switching to an easy pass, call Mass DOT, find out what is and isn't covered after that switch.